Welcome to our movement sequence for grounding. My name is Ed Daly, Director of Holistic Development for Young Living. We're so grateful you're here. This sequence is meant to get you calm, grounded, and focused all in one. We're gonna start with one of my personal favorite blends, which is the blend grounding. And so as Haley and Gail sit on their heels, we're gonna introduce this oil into their left hand, and they're gonna go ahead and, as we've been doing all day long, create the scent tent. It's earthy, relaxing aroma is just such a great way to augment this simple movement sequence that we're doing. And so taking the time to start to let those odorant molecules percolate into our limbic system is such a great way to do this. From here, let's have Haley and Gail come onto all fours. As you inhale, then exhale and go back into child's pose. So they inhale, they exhale, they go back into child's pose. Yes, they release all the way down into child's pose. Beautiful. Pause here and take a couple of breaths. On your next inhalation, come to all fours. From here, turn your toes under. Lift your pelvis and go back into downward facing dog. We did some of this in the hour long class we had earlier. Again, we want to make sure the head is releasing, the spine is elongated, as you can see. We just let the head drop just a little bit. On an exhalation, we let the knees come to the ground again, onto all fours. A simple inhalation, a simple exhalation, we go back into child's pose. Again, if you have issues with your knees, you can always put a blanket underneath the knees for a little bit of additional support. You could put a block underneath your buttocks. On the next inhalation, we come forward onto all fours again, and then exhale, and then sit on your heels again one more time. Rub your hands together as you sit on your heels, and just again, bring in the scent of the grounding essential oil blend. As you do that, the legs are folding easily and naturally. The spine is elongated, and the aroma from the blend begins to create a sense of calm relaxation. Coming to all fours again. We inhale, we exhale, we go back into child's pose. Beautiful. We pause and wait here listening to the breath as it moves in and as it moves out our body. On the next inhalation, we come forward again onto all fours. We turn the toes under, we lift the pelvis, we go back into downward facing dog. And from here, we're gonna very slowly walk the feet forward into a standing forward bend, just very slowly, almost like you just woke up from a nap and you were just waking up and you're just waking up kind of slowly. We're gonna come into a standing forward bend. If you have to grab the shins or the knees in a standing forward bend, those are some of the other modifications so as Gail's doing here. And then very slowly, just letting the palms rise up the front of the thighs, just rise up into standing again. From here, just take the thumbs to the armpit chest and feeling those feet on the ground firmly, evenly on the ground. Just slightly drop the chin to the chest, everyone, but let the legs be strong. Many times the energy when we're, when we're feeling occasional tension or we're angry about things, that tends to live in our upper chest and by working the legs, we actually move that energy into the earth. From here, just go ahead and spill forward into a standing forward bend again. Just spilling forward, yes. If you have to bend your knees, you can bend your knees. From here, walk your hands forward a little bit. Watch your, walk your feet back into downward facing dog. Again, you can see the beautiful elongation of the spine. Yes, the legs are working, the arms are working evenly. The breath is easy. We come down to our knees again. We go back into child's pose and we listen to the breath. We listen to the inhalation. We listen to the exhalation. One more time, onto all fours, turning the toes under, lift the pelvis, come into downward facing dog again. Walking the feet to the hands very slowly. It's the slow rhythmical movements that actually have a calming effect to the body-mind. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, beautiful. Again, the modification is hands on the knees or hands on the shins or even hands on the ankles. Mm -hmm. We slowly roll up into a standing posture, rubbing our hands together again, catching the remnants of the grounding oil. Releasing that, spilling forward again into a standing forward bend. Walking the hands forward, walking the feet back into downward facing dog. Beautiful. Taking three breaths here. Soft inhalations, soft exhalations. So the mind doesn't become agitated. Coming down to your knees. Sitting on your heels. And then coming into an upright spine. So come into the position that we started in. Our last oil. I love using oils and oil blends at the end that create a sense of alertness once the body's been relaxed. So we're, we're using Aroma Ease, and to me, I love the spiciness of this particular oil that it has in its scent. And I'm not shaking. It is one drop, two drops is enough. Yes. And as you use this and as you inhale this, it, it tends to have a more alert effect for the mind, but the body is relaxed. I hope you've enjoyed this sequence, everyone. Thanks for joining us here today. And practice this every day when you need a little bit of grounding. <laughs>